what happens when you're suspended, what they do, and I noticed this this morning, was my listings on my store started an item I paid 82 cents for and was probably just going to make maybe a few bucks. Would you list it again? Today is Tuesday, August 17th, and we have a few items going out today. Not really big sales, but when you're making multiple sales, it all adds up. So the first thing we have going out is I sold this Indianapolis 500 cup. It's not vintage. It dates back to 2007. Picked this up at my local thrift store. I believe I paid a dollar for it. This sold for $9.86 and the buyer is paying $8.25 in shipping. I just listed this yesterday and it sold yesterday. So, did I list it too low? Possibly, but making a decent amount of profit on this thing and I'm happy. Next item, we have this Barbie. It's just a little Barbie kit. This one is Barbie Kitten Accessory Pack with White Kitty and three more accessories. Pick this up on RA at my local Walmart. I'm into this for 75 cents. This sold for $9.80. It is going free shipping, but this is light enough. It'll go out easily at a four ounce rate. Next thing we have going out is I picked this item up at my local thrift store. It's already bagged up. I'll show a picture right up here. It's a members only jacket. It's a vintage 80s members only jacket. Men's large cafe racer blue. So pick this up for $6 at my thrift store. This sold for $35.95 and the buyer is paying $8.04 in shipping. Next thing is another RA item. I actually bought them because I wanted to try them, but I figured, oh, what the heck, let me go ahead and see, and I'll list it and see if they sell. I ended up buying two of them, but this one sold. Basically, it's a limited edition Pop-Tarts Lemon Groove Pink Lemonade. Paid $2.50 at Walmart clearance for this. This sold for $15.45 and it is going free shipping. This I can get to go into a flat rate envelope. Next thing is a book. I picked this up, Serial Killers. True Crime Serial Killers Time of Life book, 1992 hardcover. It was in pretty good condition. I picked this up at my local thrift store. I can't remember if I paid a dollar or 50 cents. This sold for $8.96 and the buyer is paying $4.01 in shipping. So this, what I will do is I will actually use one of my boxes that I use for shipping out albums. This should fit in there perfectly. And this will go out media mail. Next thing is another thrift store item. It's this toothbrush kit for dogs. Picked this up at my thrift store for a dollar. This sold for $10.75 and the buyer is paying $5.10 in shipping. Another thing we have going out is this Samsung water filter. Another item I picked up at my thrift store. It's brand new in the package. I believe I'm into this for a dollar, maybe two dollars, but I believe it was just a dollar. This I accepted best offer for $15 and is going free shipping. So with this, because it's already got plastic and it's not gonna, it shouldn't get damaged in shipping, I'm just gonna put this in a poly bag. Next item. And this is a question to ask you guys. Are you actually listing items when you have multi-quantities? Are you actually doing a quantity discount to 
try to entice the buyer to purchase more of the items. This next item, I actually had a multi-quantity on these. It's these Dr. Scholl Mole Skin Plus Pads. Picked these up at my local thrift store. I purchased, I think, maybe 10 of these. I'm into each one of these for 50 cents, so cost of goods onto this is $2. This sold for 1972, and it is going free shipping. This should easily go out at a four ounce rate. Okay, so just got ready to go print my shipping labels, and then I noticed I had two more orders come in, so I figured I'd go ahead and get these packed up and sent out as well. So we sold the last set of the four of the Minka Italian countryside dishes. I lotted four of these together. I originally bought these at my thrift store for three dollars for 12 plates. So I decided to lot them up into sets of four. So cost of goods into this is only a dollar. This sold for $31.45, and the buyer is paying $17.54 in shipping. Last item we have going out, it's already boxed up. It came this way. It's brand new. It's a Shed Pal. Pick this up at my local thrift store. I'm into this for $1.50. This sold for $17.95. It is going free shipping, and I'm not even sure what the weight is. So we're at $11.16. So what I'm going to do with this, just to help protect it and keep it under 12 ounces, I'm just going to throw this into a poly bag. Right at 12 ounces, perfect. Today is Wednesday, August 18th, and we have three eBay orders going out today. First thing we sold is we sold this vintage AM Ford radio. This was part of the last high bid haul that I had picked up. This sold for $31.45, and the buyer is paying $9.29 in shipping. So if we pull up our list, our tally, okay, we've added the vintage Ford AM radio. It was off lot 209. That lot I paid 10. This is the second item I've sold off of that lot. Estimated profits is going to be $27. So right now that puts us into 280. So we're almost at halfway point of our buy-in. 
Next thing we have going out, this is something I picked up at my local thrift store. Um, when I comped it out, I couldn't believe what they were selling for. I wanted to double check and research it when I got home. But I only paid $2 for this item. This is a Simba, an authentic Mattel Disney Vintage 1993, the Lion King Floppy Simba. This sold for $108 even, and the buyer is paying $5.70 in shipping. So I will probably spend a little bit more on shipping on this to eat in some of the profits because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send this in a priority box. Last thing we have going out is another RA item. I've sold one of these before. I think I've got one left in my store. It's this dual camera automotive video recorder. Picked this up on clearance for $13.85. This sold for $34.36 and it is going for a shipping. This I can go ahead and put into just a plain poly bag and keep it going first class. Today is Thursday, August 19th, and one thing I wanted to talk to you about is I've been suspended on eBay for three days. I'll list the reason up here. What happens when you're suspended, what they do, and I noticed this this morning, was my listings on my store started disappearing um, to the point where they're no longer listed. They're still showing as listed on my phone app, but they're hidden from the store so nobody can actually see them. When your account is suspended, you still are able to sell items if there's watchers on the item. So, what got me suspended? I've sold these before, but not the extra strength. And apparently, when it's over the counter extra strength, they consider that to be prescription strength. So, Happened before on another item, and I just figured it was that particular item. This time, they were actually a little bit more detailed in the email that they sent me, and I'll go ahead and post part of it right up here. And what happened is, is uh, apparently you cannot ship these or sell these to people in the UK or the EU. So went through the whole email and it stated that as long as I removed the locations from my listing that I could relist the item. But if this happened to you on an item I paid 82 cents for and was probably just going to make maybe a few bucks, would you list it again? The items we have going out today, because I was able to actually sell some and some stuff still went out even after my listings disappeared. First thing we have going out is I sold this vintage Garfield McDonald's coffee cup. Dates back to 1978. Picked this up at my thrift store. I believe I'm into it for maybe 50 cents maybe a dollar. Nope, it says I paid 50 cents. This sold for $7.70 and it is going free shipping. Not sure how the free shipping happened, so we are probably going to lose money on this item. Boy, when it rains, it pours. Next thing we have going out is another one of these dash cams. This is my last one. Cost of goods in this is $13.85. This sold for $34.36, and the buyer is paying $17 in shipping. Since this is going $17 in shipping, sounds to me this is going international. Last thing we have going out, and it might end up being the last thing until my suspension is removed, which is only a three-day suspension, and it started as of yesterday afternoon. This is the last item. We have going out today is two of these Everpro Gray Away Root 
concealer. Picked these up on RA. I'm into them for $3 each. These sold for $16.90 and the buyer is paying $5 in shipping. So this, this will easily go out at a first class rate. Today is Friday, August 20th, and we're in day two of my eBay suspension. So what does it mean when you get suspended on eBay? It means you're not able to list any items and they hide all of your items from being sold. But if you have watchers on items, those can still be sold. Fortunately, we have two items going out. First item we sold is we sold this wake up white alarm clock. Picked this up at a garage sale, I believe maybe about a month ago. Paid $2 for this. Buyer paid $19.74 and they are paying $7.59 in shipping. Second thing we have going out is this HP ink. There was two of them in the box, still had all the paperwork, so I listed the box and the paperwork. So I seen other listings showing it. I'll show it right up here. This sold for $22.32 and the buyer did pay $5 in shipping. Today is Monday, August 23rd, and one thing I wanted to talk to you about is my suspension. As of Saturday, my suspension was removed, and as of probably around 2, 3 o'clock, my listings in my store started coming back. Um, but it still took a while. I wasn't able to actually start listing until later on Saturday evening. But everything seems to be back to normal now. And these are the orders we have going out today to go ahead and close out the weekend sales. So let's jump in. First thing we sold is I picked up this Star Wars The Mandalorian Moff Gildan. Paid $3 for this. This sold for $12.41 and it is going free shipping. Next thing we have going out is I sold two of these Nestle filled pumpkin spice baking chips. Meant to these for 35 cents each. So cost of goods into this is 70 cents. These sold for $13.28 and they are going free shipping. Next thing we have going out is this small little Nerf gun. Picked this up on RA clearance. I picked it up for 50 cents. The reason why is the package was damaged. It was like it was dropped. But I did disclose that in my description. This sold for $5.81 and the buyer is paying $5 in shipping. Next item we have going out. This is a pretty good item. I picked this up at my local thrift store for $2. It was brand new with tags. It's this pair of Izod Men golf swing flex stretch cargo shorts new with tags this is a size 44 wide and as you can see the retail price on this is $75 this sold for $47.27 and it is going free shipping this wide enough to go up first class Next item we have going out, this was one of my personal albums that I had bought in probably back when I was in the military. It's this Jimmy Buffett Hot Water Rare 1988 vinyl record. This sold for $30.42 and the buyer is paying $6.40 in shipping. Next thing we have going out is another RA item. It's eight of these Kit Kat key lime pie i'm into each of these for 55 cents probably not a, a very good pickup cost of goods into all of these is about 450 these sold for 15.73 and they are going free shipping last thing we have going out is this happy 18th birthday gillette first real razor cost of goods into this is nothing this sold for 11 50 and it is going free shipping. This is light enough. It'll easily go out of first first class rate So I hope some of this information was useful for you So when you're out there sourcing and looking for things to sell on eBay If you like content like this go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel and if you're not currently subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit the um, subscribe button down below 
and hit the bell notification, you'll be notified the next time I do a video. So until next time, keep picking. And we have some, when they, so when I, I just listed this, just the other, next thing is another thrift store item. This should easily go out at a flat, and we've got three Ebays, cool. It was a Next thing we have going out, this is something I picked up. Second thing, also down below, go ahead and, and 